Hey guys, today I'm here in Banff National Park and we're gonna visit... Cave Basing National Historic Site. I can't wait, let's go! Yeah, and so here we go. We'll go inside the building and we'll go into the cave where it all started. It's a pretty cool cave. <laughs> Here at the cave in Basin is where the national park system started. So Banff is our first national park and so thanks to this area we have other national parks in Alberta and, uh, uh, and as well as rest of Canada there as well. So it's important to people who live in Banff, important to people who live in Alberta, and important to people who live in Canada. Um, how is this place formed? Because, um, for example, the Badlands, they have a certain way and they form. How is this place formed? Yeah, that's a good question. So how this one was formed was, so there are very, there's different springs. There's this one here, and then we got springs above us there as well. So a uh, long time ago, uh, when ice receded here, because this area was covered with ice, and the water starts coming up and bringing up a lot of minerals. The minerals keep depositing here too, and minerals from the other springs. So one time, this was pretty close to solid here. There wasn't this big cave. And then with the heat coming up there and the gases coming up there, forms a um, certain uh, like uh, uh, sulfuric acid. So that's corrosive, so it can eat away at the rock. And then also water coming in from the other springs, eating away at the rocks, making the wall thinner and thinner, and start uh, forming the cave that we have now. So this is the story hall. It used to be the changing room. So this building was built in 1914. At that time, they built a large pool outside where people used to bathe. They took the water from the cave and they filled up the pool. Um, today, there's no bathing here, but you can go to the upper hot spring and bathe there. And so what we have turned it into a story hall. So it tells a story about Pars Canada. We have a movie that plays here every 10 minutes. And then also, if you want to do some reading about the history of people here and about Pars Canada, this is a good place to start. Well, here we got the bug, and you know, uh, so this is showing in the early days when people started camping. They would take their car, put everything they need in there, go to the mountains, and then start camping. So one of the cars they would be able to use was uh, the, uh, the beetle, the bug here too. So this used to be the pool deck, so the line that goes all the way around. So right over here we have the snails, but we ask everyone not to touch the snails because we can have all kinds of things in our hand. We can have food, like my hand most of the time has chocolate on it. Uh, but in the summertime you can have mosquito spray or sunblock there as well. So we get lots of people coming here, so if everyone was to touch the water, the water would start getting dirty. So here, some night pictures. 
So these are star trails. So what I do is uh, when I want to take star trail, I take about 30 different pictures and combine them together. And so here's the North Star. So the Earth is moving and rotating. So the star is staying in the same position. And if you take those different pictures, put them together, you can see uh, the star trails. That is so One day I came out here, uh, last year in May we had a snowstorm and guess what was standing right over here? What? A grizzly bear. Grizzly what? bear was standing right in here? Standing on the, right on the top of this with the steam coming all around her with the snow coming down and as soon as she saw me she got off and started walking away from here. Too. or anything you want to tell me and all my viewers to do here or anywhere else? Yeah, so depending on when you come out here, you can either go on the internet and check uh, what, we're ha what we're doing at that time or also if you're in town, you can go to the information center. So we have, we have um, pamphlets, we have maps, and we can show you where's a good place to go hiking or biking or exploring. And so again, depends on the season. Um, and that's, those are some good places to go on the internet or go to our information center so we can tell you what is to see at that time. Thank you so much for having me here. Well, thank you. It was, really fun. It was a pleasure. about Banff National Park. I loved today, it was so fun. Hope you guys like it too. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so everyone there can learn a little bit about Banff. See ya.